speaker, he's going to be Jitin. Now his intro is a little long, so I kind of read this. Okay, so he's going to be presenting his ninth speech from the Competent Communicator Manual, Persuade of Power. Now his speech is titled, the Self-Image, the Tool to Get the Best Out of Yourself. He's going to be telling you how to look at yourself in a new perspective. It can be a life-changing impact that can significantly enhance your health, happiness, and relationships, and well. So without further ado, for five to seven minutes, Jitin. Come on, you can do better than that. Let's clap one more time. Let me ask you a few questions. How many of you, how many of you want to be the most successful, happy, and wealthy person? Say I. 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 Louder. Say I. 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 Who wants to make an impact to the world? Say I. 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 Now you can take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever found yourself getting motivated after reading a very good book, or watching a movie, or listening to someone like me? <laughs> so you know, each time we experience something motivating, we get pumped up. And we are like, I can do this, I will do that. And next morning, when the alarm rings, what do we do? We snow that. We don't want to wake up. We'll wake up after 30 minutes, one hour, one hour, 30 minutes, two hours. We go back to our routine. That motivation goes away. Why does that happen? It happens because what we say outside does not synchronize with, does not synchronize with what we think of ourselves deep inside. We say that we want to be successful, we say we want to be happy, but we think we are not worthy of it deep inside in our heart. And that's where the problem lies. Which means we don't have a strong positive image. The way our brain thinks, act or fail, does not depend on your will. It depends on your imagination. This is the fundamental of brain. When your brain interprets any information, it forms some images inside. If those images does not synchronize, synchronize it with what you are saying, you are not going to act on them. So we need to have good images about things that we say. For example, there's something very beautiful about your brain. It cannot differentiate between a true experience and an imagined experience. So the way the images are formed in your brain is based on the experience. So if you can imagine something good in your mind, your brain is going to feel that it is actually happening with it. And the way it is going to interpret the future events would be based on the images that it sees. So for example, when you say, I will be very successful, I will be very rich, and you can imagine yourselves doing all those things in very precise manner, not vaguely. In very precise manner, if your brain can form those images, you are going to act because then you think you deserve it because you can see a very clear picture of what's going to happen and how you're going to do it. Uh, I told you that your brain cannot differentiate between true between a true experience and an imagined one. I'll give you an example of that. Uh, imagine yourself entering a dark room. Okay? You go there um, and you look for the switches. Oh, this room is unknown to you. You look for the switches, you cannot find it, and then you are like doing this, and then somebody comes behind you and he said, Woo! And what you do? You get scared. You get scared, right? You're like, Woo! You get scared. Why? Because you thought that there is some ghost or thief or something. But what is true? What is true? It might be your friend. It might be somebody you know. But what did your brain imagine? Of a ghost. So, your, because your brain pulls an image of a ghost, you got scared. But the truth is, that person is your friend. So the work, like I said earlier, the way your brain works is based on the images that you form in your mind. Change those images, you'll change your experiences, you'll change your interpretations, and then you'll change yourself 
image. So next time, when you say, I want to be successful, I want to be happy, I want to be wealthy, I want to be healthy, whatever do you say, imagine yourself worthy of it, believe in what you're saying, have faith in that, and don't just say it, imagine yourself in that position. And things will turn out to be true magically. And you will realize the power of self-image, a positive self-image, a strong self-image, and then acting on them will become very easy for you because you already have a map to follow. And this is my advice for you. So next time, don't just say it, walk the talk. Thank you.